A potential trade war, reforms, election uncertainties. The issues that have been dominating Europe's growth story. This week, though, it's about looking closer to home, at the consumer. Eurozone data kicks things off on Tuesday. Business climate, economic sentiment and consumer confidence all expected. Followed by French and German consumer confidence on Wednesday. I think it will be quite important to see how the consumer is holding up or how the consumer feels they're holding up um, to what's happened. And that could possibly feed, find its way back to asset prices as well. More clues from Germany will come on Thursday when it releases inflation and employment data. The country's growth forecast has been raised recently and the economy is expected to grow by 2.3 per cent this year. But there are warnings that a spiral of protectionist measures could damage the robust upswing, among other things. Germany is the uh, engine of uh, Europe's economic growth and economic uh, recovery. Um, but it's been a tough start to the year, hasn't it? Um, with a delayed sort of election sort of outcome, various bits of geopolitical news and some business upsets as well. Future upsets perhaps on the cards too with Brexit. All eyes on UK mortgage application data out on Monday and whether Brexit jitters are starting to hurt house buyers. Japan too posting consumer readings with retail numbers. Sales have been picking up in recent months as the BOJ strives to boost inflation towards its elusive 2% target. Japanese inflation and consumer spending data are both due on Friday.